hello lovelies. So, I have decided to jump on the Christmas in July bandwagon. Now, generally what I do is I have a December daily album and without fail every year, I never get it finished. <laughs> and then what proceeds is in the December of the following year, no, November of the following year, I try very, very hard to catch up and I do a, a layout a day until I'm caught up. Most of the time that works. But instead of waiting till November, I thought I would give you an extra video every week of my Christmas and do Christmas in July. So basically the reason I'm doing this is because I have this tub here. Now this is all the stuff I was using and this that I was using uh, last December. And I left it inside all set up ready to go because I really wanted to get my album finished. Well, it is the 1st of July and that didn't happen. So I thought I would get everything out and um, do Christmas in July and get this finished before November. So as I, I have, I've already done a spread, but my tub, as you can see, has just had everything thrown in. I don't even know what's in here anymore. So I thought I would go through it and sort it out. And in doing that, while I was doing that, I thought, why don't I share that with all of you so you can see exactly what I'm working with. And yeah, oh, see the absolute mess that is my scrapping style system, whatever you want to call it. So let's chat and we'll get through this. So this is a mishmash of a kit. I didn't buy a December daily kit this year. I've bought one every other year and um, didn't feel the need to get one this year. Because, um, well, I have so much Christmas stuff already, it's not funny. This was just stuff I decided to pull out and use. And, yeah, see? Oh, my boy's gorgeous. So, at the moment, I don't have access to my computer. I'm hoping to fix that this week. But I am lucky enough that... Oh, dropping things. I'm lucky enough that I do have photos pre-printed ready to go. Up until, I think, about the... Up until I think about the 22nd. If you can hear that, I apologise. My nephews are here and my son is outside playing. We're coming up to the school holiday, so it's not going to get any better. So we're just going to go with it. But yeah, so I thought I would go through and sort all my stuff out. And yeah, get started with Christmas in July. So I've got lots of scraps of cardstock. And this is stuff that I bought from the reject shop last year so it's bits of ephemera actually no this one here is a doodle bug collection i believe and these i got from the reject shop i don't think i've used many of them at all yet so they're all fine this was in an, a, a very old december daily kit i got so i'm thinking i might cut them out so yeah i'm thinking i will cut them out uh see look at this it's all falling apart i really need somewhere to stash all this so these, these, and these were bought last year. Oh, okay, so I lied. I didn't buy a December daily kit, but I did buy a few things. Um, I bought these from Flutter by Designs. And that's because um, they're an Aussie brand. And they had some really cool Aussie Christmas stuff. So like I, over here in Australia, it's summer at Christmas time. Like we're in winter right now. So yeah, I bought those because I thought it would be good to add to my Christmas stash. And the wood mini comes like this, which is awesome for postage, but um, I really need to sort them out and put them in a little baggie, I think. So let's see what I have down here. I bought recently bought new ones, so we will open this and we'll put these in here. Because I find if I can see everything, as we know, um, I'm much more likely to use it and even this one spread that I did this morning um, with this tub looking like this I literally only grabbed from the top so if I sort it all out neatly and have it all ready to go it's going to be much more beneficial so let's pop these out and I think I might trim this down because there's lots of little fiddly bits in there. I don't really feel like trimming them down right now. But if we go through there, it's much better. See, that, that's much more manageable. Alright, so we've got the wood. Alright. 
So I've got some extra um, pocket pages. Now I am using a Kaiser Craft album, but what I have started doing is because I have so many of the Simple Stories pockets, I've just started taping down the side and then punching my own holes because the Kaiser Craft is a four ring and the Simple Stories I think is only two or maybe three. But yeah, they don't fit. So what I've started doing is I put some of my funky Christmas washi tape down the side and then I just punch my own holes. So that way I'm using up all these page protectors and not buying lots of new ones when I have so many already. We're gonna run out of room on my desk very quickly. I can see it happening, but you know, as long as I can see. So this is some more of that doodle bug. I just like the colors in it, but I find I didn't actually use it at all so far. These, and when I find the rest of them, I'll show you more scraps of cardstock here. Put them in my cardstock collection. So this is very old. I've had these for a long time. These are the um, Merriam Bright edition, the, the mini kit. Is that what it was called? Yeah, mini kit back in the day. I've had this for a very long time. So yeah, so I, I like to pull them out. They're, they're my colours. I find pretty much every year my colours stay the same. I'm a very traditional. I like red, green and gold. I don't like that vintage red, green and gold. I like the, the bright red, green and gold. So things like this and this. These are my colours. So so I've got lots of thickers and these are, look, see, I've got bits and things everywhere. So these are my favourite thickers. I have a few packets of these in here because they are my most used and I do love using them at Christmas especially. And I've got bits floating around everywhere. So I'll put them over here. I think I actually ended up with two packets of these, but I think I only pulled one out last year because I'm only going to need one. So these were awesome. These were made... I think by American Crafts. I think they're just a set of thickers, but they are from one to 25 and I love these. I think I've used them mostly in my album. So I hope they continue to make those because they are really cool. So I've got lots of um, simple stories, stickers, uh, the, the sticker sheets. I love these. They're some of my favorite things. Uh, I buy the packet that you get pretty much every collection that gets released. So I have a lot. <laughs> So they're my Christmas themed ones. I've got some Heidi Swap Christmas stickers. These were sent to me as part of, um, of a Christmas uh, Secret Santa, uh, not Secret Santa, Christmas um, Advent Swap. There we go, that's what I was looking for. And we were partnered up with like-minded scrappy people. And um, yeah, we send each other Advent gifts. And Corinne was my partner last year and she made these awesome tags and I decided to keep some of them because I want to um, I wanted to use them in my December daily album so they're gonna make good little embellishments I've got some stamps as well I have a lot of stamps um, one of my favorite Christmas stencils so I've got that I think I used that with what did I use that I think I used that with some texture paste and made some cards so that was pretty cool I've got some stamps. I think these were actually bought from the reject shop. And with my stamps, I use my Galaxy Gold ink pad. That's probably, this stays with my Christmas stash. It's probably the only time I use it. And then I've got the Simple Stories um, phrase stamp, roller stamp. I love those. Lots of wood veneer. I bought these as a set. Last year, they're all little um, words, so I'll put them with my wood. As always, Tim Holtz occasion, so there's lots of all different occasions, but there is some um, Christmas ones in there, so I keep them. This was um, some stickers with that go with one of the um, reject shop sets. Washi tape, more of these. Vellum. So some stuff I haven't even opened yet. I think I actually got one. I've got two of those because I got one as part of a um, a swap. As part of my um, Secret Santa. So basically what I did with this is I put together all the stuff that I thought I'd use. Threw it in a tub and took it inside so I could scrap whenever I had. Because I have an art room outside. You'll know if you've seen any of my videos in the past. And um, out in the garage that used to be a converted granny flat. And so this is my art room. And... Sometimes uh, during summer it gets really hot for a few hours of the day. So what I did is I took my stuff inside so I'd have it all with me. And um, yeah, so 
I took what I thought I'd use, put it in a tub and took it inside with my album so I could do it anytime I, you know, print out my photos and do it rather quickly. So that included, you know, my favourite pens and my adhesive and everything. So if I pull out a random pen or something, that's why. So this was um, a new stencil I got and I totally forgot I got that because it's being buried in this tub. So, yeah. Some um, more Project Life cards or pocket page cards because these are were a... Um, think from the reject shop as well uh, if you don't know the reject shop is an Australian uh, cheap shop over here more wood veneer I think I got that in a, um, a prize one year what else have we got more thickers gold I tend to stick with the gold and red because as I said they're my Christmas colors look at this we get it we're getting there slowly we're getting down <laughs> but lots of random bits and pieces so washi tape that I haven't even opened more cards here we go see they were in there so I might put them back in there now these I've had for years so when the mink was first released as we know all the mink things I love little sequins as well so I bought these because I don't like the big ones for my December daily so I have a few little jars of those um, as I was saying, yes, these were, when the mink was first released, um, all the things that go with it were released as well, like um, the chipboard and things. And when Christmas came around, um, a set of numbers and things were released that you could run through your mink. So I bought those, of course, and um, some gold foil and foiled most of them up. So I have these in here. So I still, I like using those. Some little bits of confetti. Five more vellum. I love using vellum especially at Christmas time I think we're getting to the bottom I think we're getting there another tag some more cards I think these were sent to me as part of the advent swap too and then yeah we're at the bottom so then we've got the doodlebug sticker sheet so I'm gonna leave that there because I put all of my 12 by 12 in the bottom so this is just basically a 12 by 12 container that I got from Kmart and I have about four of them now, I think. I put my kits in them. I've recently started using them for stencil storage as well because I hate putting my stencils away. And it's working really well for me. I took the lid off it because I was overflowing out of it for Christmas. So that is why it looks the way it does. So basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to put all this back exactly pretty much the way it is. Just a bit neater so I can see what I've got and I can go diving through it and get out what I want to play with for that particular day. Whereas before it was just all a big mishmash and yeah, it wasn't getting used because I couldn't dive into the bottom of it. All right, so we're going to put these, see some of this stuff I might not even use because I have, without realizing it, I have gone a certain theme, a certain way with my colors and some of this stuff I just won't use. Like for example, I don't think I'll open these. So I might put them away for another year and take them out of my tub. So I'm going to put these back in here. I'll put them there. Alright, what else have we got? So that always goes on top. So I've got, what I need is another storage plate of some kind. Alright, so I'll put my stickers back in. So, stencil, stencil, my stickers, my Christmas Cards. Actually, no, I'm going to put my other sticker sheet in here because I like to keep all the big things on the bottom. So I'll put that in there. Put my cards in here. See, already it's looking so much neater and much more happier with that. I'm going to get another one of those when I find where I put them. Um, Ziploc bags for those wood phrases that I have because I don't want to lose those. There's some really nice phrases in here. Uh, one I've put on the front of my cover already. Uh, Santa, Christmas, Twinkle, things like that. So I'm going to put them in there. They would look really, really nice with, um, coloured with some glitter paste or something. So I'm putting them there. So I can go in there. My other wood veneer. Actually, I might put these together because I do like to keep collections together. So they can go in there. I might put the cards in there too, actually. So that way it's all together. I'll put them there. Alright, see? We're getting there and it's looking much neater. I'm going to take this out of the packet because it doesn't need to be in the packet. I like this one. Dear Santa, define good. I thought that would be kind of perfect for my boys. I'm going to put that in there too. Alright. 
All right, what else have we got? We've got some doilies, some red doilies, and then we've got all of these, which I'll put up here too. These I love. I'm pretty sure I bought these from the Reject Shop as well, or maybe it was Big W or something. So, yeah, they're really cute. So I'll put them in here too. Puffy stickers. More tags. My stamps and my ink pad. Right there. My stamp. This isn't really my my colour scheme this year, so I might just keep that out. Actually, I might move these over here. So then I can grab this, stick it on top. And voila, we are done. Much neater and uh, much more accessible. So that's going to be my system for my um, Christmas in July. See, I love these. Uh, I don't. I think I might have bought these from a cheapy shop over here a couple of years ago. Um, I have sequins. I love sequins, especially in my December daily albums. But I find sometimes they're just too big, so I like the little ones. So. Yeah, that's that's gonna be my system. So I've got a little bits of confetti in there. Just checking I haven't missed anything. And of course my album. So as you can see, this is why I took the lid off. It was overflowing a little bit. So I've got my album. I've got some of my photos. All right, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to share this video with you today and then I will post my first Christmas in July video Hmm, what day shall we make it? Shall we make it on a Monday? I was thinking as an extra video on the weekend, but um, yeah, I might do that. So maybe I'll give you a quick flick through. So instead of just seeing all my product, I'll give you a quick flick through of my album so um, you can see what we're working with. And that can be our first video and then I'll save my first process for next Saturday. So we'll make them as extra videos on the weekend. So this literally I just threw together, which you'll see on Saturday. Um, I tried to keep it very minimal this year. Other years I've done big, but yeah, I just, I had this already glittered up, ready to go. So I figured that would work nicely. So I did get a few done last year. I think I got up to 15, 14 maybe, but I have missed a few and you'll see in a minute. So this was my day one. This was, um, what we wore to school. <laughs> so actually this is still day one. We had a really big first of December. So we had, um, uh, last day of school, well not last day of school but it was a Friday and then we had Will's Christmas party and then we also had the flicking on of our lights which is what's supposed to go here or was that the second? No, yeah, that was a flicker that was all on the one day but with no access to my computer I can't print off those photos just yet so I'll... the boys have just discovered that we have cake splat and they want to play so <laughs> sorry for the interruption so yeah, with no access to the computer um, I can't print them off just yet so I'm going to save that for another day so that's all day one. And that's what I love about my December daily album. Um, I don't have to. I don't have to stick to a day a page. Look, that's all I do for the third, literally. So that's what I love about my album. It's um, it's very flexible. So day two was decorating the tree, and I've got my page, and then I also like to do like a mini six by eight layout. The third is our Santa photo, and I've just I haven't stuck that on my photo. I've stuck that on the protector, so I haven't read my photo. Day four and five, um, I didn't really do much, so I combined them into one. This is my nephew, and this is just some baubles that I was making. I make them every Christmas. I make um, little baubles, glittered baubles with um, personalised names on them. I do that every year, make some extra Christmas money. Day six was Letters to Santa. Seven was our favourite Christmas CD, which is always Michael Bublé's Christmas. Day eight, I haven't finished yet. Um, it was the colour run on my son's school. Day nine, nice and simple. It was my hubby's work Christmas party. Day ten was the carols. Eleven was letters back from Santa. Twelve was presentation day. Um, thirteen, I don't. Thirteen and fourteen, I don't think I have. Oh no, hang on, I do because that's what I did. So thirteen, I don't. No, thirteen and fourteen, I don't have. See, this is what I hate about not having my computer. Um, I can't, I can't um, double check, and because all my photos are on my computer, I do have them on my hard drive, but without a computer to access it. So I'll double check all this when I get access to my photos again. But basically, fifteenth uh, was the layout I did, which will go up on Saturday. Um, school class, class party, class party, 
uh, this was so th this is where I'm up to now so I haven't finished these ones yet so I have this was actually an old pocket page I made a couple of years ago that I decided to use because I have the fuse now so I wouldn't actually need to sew. I don't sew but um, I did have a hand sewing machine that wasn't the best but I decided to use it anyway so I've got um, a few more ready to go so I'll definitely be able to um, keep up with my my um, process videos until I can get access to more to my computer and get some more photos happening but yeah as you can see I did print off a few already because I was hoping to be much more productive than I was but so that's my album so far so I'm hoping to get caught up and we're going to utilize Christmas in July to get this done so thanks for watching and um, I'll see you real soon or well, I'll see you tomorrow with a new video Bye for now.